Gabby and Michael, the plea deal that Dylan Roof officially accepted here this afternoon got him a sentence of life without parole, but the federal death sentence still stands. The solicitor says she believes the plea agreement will not affect that death sentence. In fact, she says she believes it will ensure that he will be executed. This afternoon, Dylan Roof pleaded guilty to 13 state charges related to the shootings at Emanuel AME Church in 2015. Nine of those charges were for murder. The solicitor says the plea deal, which led to a sentence of life without parole, keeps the victim's families from having to go through another trial. The solicitor also believes that the state sentence will go into effect if there is any issue with that federal death sentence. Today, friends and relatives of the victims talked to the judge. Among them, Senator Gerald Malloy. He spoke on behalf of the family of victim Clemente Pinckney. Our worldly justice is delivered here today and in the federal court verdict and sentencing. We thank those, all of those that have labored to understand, present, and ensure justice is served and preserved for all time and for all reasons it is needed. It is our hope that everyone finds peace Dylan Roof only spoke when the judge asked him questions today. The judge did rule that Roof was competent to enter into that plea agreement. The judge also called Roof's actions at the church crazy and unexplainable. Ahead coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, you will hear from the current pastor of Emanuel AME Church here in Charleston. During the hearing at the courthouse today, he talked about the impact that the shootings still have on the church family. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4. Live tonight in Charleston.